everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another rant movie review. And back and back on to the Leprechaun franchise, which I've already reviewed the first one, the fir uh, the, the first Leprechaun film, which it was not a full on rant. I wasn't full. I wasn't fully angry with the film. Because uh, because in retrospect, because I grew up with the with the first film with me and my brother, I used to watch it all the time. So was, that's why I was being a little more kind on it. But I know it's a bad movie. But the positive things, though, I, like I said before, because I like Jennifer Aniston. It was a first film, and I liked her in the film. And same with the uh, Ken Lant from the original April Fool's Day. But um, but uh. It's 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 not it's not it's not a great film at all, but I do say that it, w it was nice that it was shot with a very low budget, but it was a eight million dollars. I would say with a low budget, say it is a big hit though, and that's why it got six sequels. And Warwick Davis, like I said, he even though he does he does look the part in the costume of him looking like Leprechaun, the makeup of the, what I thought was decent though, but. He he was he's not that really all that great as a leprechaun. I don't think I don't think I don't think so though. But even like I said, even though despite him looking the part though, but I don't think his um uh, his humor is not funny, and the deaths in, the, in this film were lame, forgettable, and some of it was plus overall boring. So, but beside that now. Since it, and plus that uh, plus it's like since it was big enough to get six sequels, so we gotta move from this now, and now we move on to Leprechaun Two. That which which was released a year after the first film because the first one was ninety three and this came out in ninety four. So Warwick Davis is the only character who comes back for all six of these films. And and one thing I, one thing I forgot to mention in the first in the further review of the first film is is that this film does it will, will all the other films there, it's, there's no continuity the, this all these sequel all these sequels they have no relation with the first film it's like each se each sequel is a standalone leprechaun story so like how the first film ended when when the leprechaun uh, blew up in that well after being shot in the mouth with the uh, four-leaf clover, it was melting and he exploded in the well. And then it's him said, "I will not rest till I have me gold and curse us this, uh, this well that me still shall dwell and find the magic to break the spell." So, but this film, but go go start with this film. No relation, no relation to the ending of the first film. It ignores it. So yeah, in each ending of each sequel is a standalone stand, uh, Leprechaun star with us. No relation with any of the films. That's why I forgot to mention the first film because I forgot no sequels has no relation with any of the films or any endings, whatever. Except it's just Warwick Davis as Leprechaun. That's it. But then he gets this film, which I said, well, as I said that um, the, the ending of the first one review. The sequels are are much worse, but this one is even much worse than the first film. Mu this one was much worse than the first film, and is I would say it's well, it's hard for me to say if it's if this is if this is the worst one in the franchise. There are other ones that are much worse, which I'll get to though. But this one totally sucks. That's why I can say this. This why is, I was much more being much more kinder. On the rant of the first film, though, because it was like I said before, but this film, I this one, I'm not being kind on it because this film sucks so much. And for some reason, and this and this poster is really deceiving, is because you see him holding a candle, which he doesn't, he does not in the whole entire movie. He does not hold a candle. I don't know why that's been thrown in there. And maybe be, well, I don't know, how. but I don't know why that's why he's not why he's not, they threw in. They always him holding the candle, and this is and this is also this was the only one. This is the only sequel that was released in theaters. Uh, the first one made eight million, and this one was released in theaters in '94, and this only made two million. 
and has a bigger budget than the first film, which is only also like two million dollars. I don't know how this film has a bigger budget, even if even though it's a small budget like two million. I don't know how because it all it looks the same to me. It looks like it's like the same budget as the first film. I don't see how it costs two million. But yeah, this is the only one that was released in theater as the rest of a directed video. And it and this film was panned by critics and has way lower ratings than the first film. Like the first film on IMDb has a four point six on IMDb and then Ron Tomatoes thing was like a twenty three percent. Well this one on IMDb has a four point three, which I think it deserves lower. But this one has a complete zero percent Ron Tomatoes, and I think it does deserve it. In fact, Sequels from 2 to 4 have 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. And they all deserve it. So yeah, this one is 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, including 2 and 3 and 4. And they deserve it. This one deserves it. And and, with, and also the thing is, it's weird that the, the director of the film is, is, is Rod, Rodman Flinder. Which he actually directed a film that I actually like, and it's called Idle Hands. Which I think is kind of weird, though. But it the way well, that film was also a horror comedy, so he's directing this film a horror comedy. Um, Idle Hands actually stars the guy from the first Final Destination, the lead, um, Devin something. I forget the guy, the guy's name though. But he was the first. Um, he was the lead in the first Final Destination film, and also stars Seth Green. Really enough, I like that film though. But this is it's much better than this one. In fact, yeah, I said the first. I said the first one was much better, though. But even though that's not saying much. But yeah, I thought it was kind of weird because this guy, the guy who directed the Idle Hands, directed this film. Oh well. And what also makes the film even worse that the cat, this the cast sucks. Well, but well, the human cast. There are much worse. They're much worse than the the cast in this film. Like, like I said, Jennifer, like. Most of the cat, all pretty much all the cast in the whole series suck. But as before, Jennifer Aniston and Ken Olaf were the only two characters that were likable, to at least to me though. Because all the cast of uh, these other films sucks. Like the lead guy and the lead girl, they, I think they both suck. Um, and I don't know who whoever these two people up here. I don't know what they. I don't know what they see. What they see any good in, in this film. One well, of the back here says, this one from L.A. Times, better than the first. I disagree with that. The first film is 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 not great and it, it's bad though, but it's still better than the first film. So I don't see, I don't see that at all. And then this one, uh, this guy from World of Fandom, he's meaner than Freddy. Like right here, see here. I'm not lying. It just says right there. He's meaner than Freddy. Bullcrap. Absolutely bullcrap on that. I, Freddy Krueger is a way better. Like Freddy Krueger's up here, Leprechaun's all the way down here. Me and the Freddy, I, I just have to laugh at that. That is because that's a, a complete and little bull. Freddy Krueger is way better villain than this. The Freddy Krueger I would say can kick the Leprechaun's ass despite his magic powers. Hey, Freddy Krueger has powers as well. Freddy Krueger can kick this Leprechaun's ass. So yeah, me and the Freddy. Yeah, right. And so, okay, so it opens up like a thousand a thousand years ago. Um, the leprechaun, like I said, no 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 um relation to the first film. I guess they're just pulling ideas out of the hat. So, so they said to go a thousand years ago. There's this guy who's basically his sleigh because he has this thing around his this gold thing around his neck. He's like this leprechaun slave. And now he is his birthday, and he wants a bride. So he has this stupid. It's it's a stupid idea. Like, if if he picks he picks a girl, and the girl sneezes three times, and all someone's saying "God bless you," he becomes his bride. It completely, it's completely, it's completely. Uh, it's so stupid. I don't know what what idea came up with that. So if you sneeze three times, you can just be your bride. I just go in and you can just go and ask the girl to be your bride, and that's it. But no, we had to have someone, a girl, sneeze three times, and someone has to, can't say, "I God bless you." Stupid. But they find this 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 girl when it happens to be this guy's uh, the slave, the guy who's the slave to Leprechaun. That happens to be his daughter. 
So she sees it three times. He says, God bless you. And that room thinks for the leprechauns. And now the guy just snaps the guy's neck. And that's it. And then... <laughs> And then, it, and then the girl goes to see his father. His, fi his father is dead, and the camera gets an up close of her face of her screaming, ah! And then the show, and the show, and then the show's title. I'm just, I'm just all alive. It comes, goes to the girl's face, and just hears screams, ah! You know, jeez. This shows us this film is already is already horrible, much worse than the first film already from the beginning. So, then it comes to a thousand years later to the present. It's it's the night of St. Patrick's Day, and you have the you have the your lead, but who is this kid by the name of Charlie Heath, who plays the character Cody, and which he was horrible. He, he's much he's. Much he's a horrible lead. Like Jennifer Aniston is way better than him, and he's a, he's a um, a scammer, you know, for this uh, f he's a scammer for this uh, fake tour, which I don't know for what the thing that this tour is called. I don't and I don't care. I don't care what his name is. Tour is called. It's supposed to be like it's like a like a horror car tour. I don't know, and. For, and then you get two tourists, which for, for some reason one of them is actually Clint Howard, the younger the younger brother of director uh, Ron Howard. Which he has he's he, he's had small roles on a lot of films. Like one of them was was Apollo thirteen, you know, like small roles in a lot of his brother's films. But you mostly one of my remember was in um, Friday thirteenth and um, a little supporting role in the first Carnosaur film. But he's been had small roles in other movies, so I was like. Why is Clint Howard in this movie? And it's just weird and and an off and a totally off for him to be in this movie. But he's one of the tourists, and he wants to you know um Cody wants to uh pick uh, this pick this girl up and which he was supposed to be his girlfriend like uh, Br Bridget. Which this girl was also horrible as well. Um, then they then they get this. Then one thing leads to another. They get this fight, and she goes. Uh, this Bridget goes with this other guy at this go, runs like this go kart track, and she wants to take him to the takes her to the go karts. Which okay. So he gets pissed, and the tour is like this. In this, uh, Clint Howard is saying, "Oh, this tour is bull crap," which I agree to. So he gets pissed again, so he goes and runs a red light, and he gets arrested, and the guy, this guy who uh, is looking after him, I can say his legal guardian, this old guy, bails him out, and while that's going on, this homeless guy, he uh, lays down, he, he rests next to this tree, which was a tree that was from, um, a tree that's like from Houdini, a tree, for, yeah, it's like this magic tree that's from, for, like, Houdini, and then, um, the leprechaun comes out of it, and then this notice that the homeless guy has a gold tooth, so he has some vines hold him down, and he yanks the tooth out of him, scares him off. Um, then that guy gets arrested, saying, oh, he tore my gold, tells the cops that it was a leprechaun, and the cops don't believe it at all. So, then the leprechaun is in the city, which I guess... Maybe that's why part of this uh, po this poster is why because he's in the city, not like not like in the countryside town like in the first one, but he's like in, in the middle of a big city. Which he doesn't do much in the city. Isn't like he's not like he's killing people, a whole bunch of people in the streets and um, whatever though. It's not much. So just because he's in a city doesn't make a difference. So then he gets the, then he talks to the, and he meets this guy. Who gives him a, his like his business card, and then Leprechaun notices he has he has a gold ring, and okay, you get this one decent gore scene, which it's like it's like it's like the it's like in the first film where the only decent bit, bit of gore was he takes that dead cop's eye out and puts it into his own. That was the only that was the only goriest thing in the film, and it wasn't much though, but it was like the only single piece of gore, and you get this one single piece of gore right there is where he just. Rips the guy's finger off. And he got a bad pun him saying, finger looking good. 
bad pun. So, after that, I guess somehow he finds where the girl lives, and then the guy who, this other guy that, that took her to the go-karts, drops her off at the how at her place, and then five seconds later, where, um, she, where he thinks he sees her in the garage, Jay-Z walks up to her, but it's actually, it's one, it's a holographic projection of the girl made by the leprechaun, and then... Okay, this is one thing I would say is kind of weird, but it's also very noticeable. Where okay, you take you tell the the, the, the girl is gonna take her sh take her shirt off and show her her, you know, her boobs and all that, but it cuts to like it, it first it cuts to her taking her shirt off and then it cuts to the chest part of the of the girl, and I get and I can see that's probably probably I can tell it's probably not her, because you know it cuts to her 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 head up here, then it cuts then another shot cuts to her down here. You know the guy. You think know, the guy looking at you know, and I don't know why you need a, like a a body double for that. I don't like to sh show her full figure. I don't know, but it's actually it's it's another it's a like it's a it's a, another um hol like a holographic projection of the girl, which is actually the guy's looking at is a lawnmower, and yeah, it's actually a lawnmower. He's actually looking right into the blaze, but he thinks it's the girl, you know. And the girl, the the girl says, "Kiss me," and and this could have been a, a pretty good a gory death though. But you know, where the guy just you know, you know how the lawn the lawnmower just goes into the guy's face though. But it turns into a land of the lame death because it cuts away to a shadow because on the on the wall. It just shows a shadow on the wall, and you get some see some blurt some blood spurt out, and that's it. Okay, that could have been a, a good a good gory death though, but it has to cut away to a shadow. I mean, why they could not afford to put that on the screen? I mean, you got a low budget, you know, you can actually make that work, you know. But no, so you get another lame death, and then Cody comes by with flowers. And then the leprechaun starts making her sneeze three times, and by and by the third sneeze, the the Cody actually starts to say "God bless," but he gets uh, try to get strangled by the phone cord, and then see the leprechaun. Then the leprechaun drops pans on him, um, and then she, she tries to get. Then the Richard tries to get out, but the dead guy is right there hanging. Then. She uh, she he uh, gets his, his pot of gold and gets that um that golden thing you know that the guy wore at the beginning with his slave throws that on her and then she uh, tosses his gold pot aside tries to get all of it then but one gold coin happens to roll to Cody be knocked out though and he has it and then he th and then he throws in a fire poker. At him and it burns his hand because you find out that iron uh, hurts him because it's like it's guess like it's like a myth where iron uh, burns uh, fairies and other mythical magical creatures. So yeah, so he throws a fire poker and it burns him or hurts him whatever, and then transports him and him and Bridget to his home, which is underneath the the tree of Houdini, where he has his home and stuff. And Bridget tries to get out, but it's no good. Um, and he notices, that, and Lepcar knows he's missing a gold coin. So he goes out to Cody, and he takes it to um, in which because um, um, uh, the, the police find um the dead the dead kid and Bridget at the, the house, and Bridget is gone. They think the police think that Cody is the one who did all this. They think he murdered that kid and reason and for Bridget disappearing. So, but he he didn't do it. So he go talks with his gar his legal guardian named Morty. Tells him about the gold coin and the leprechaun. He says the leprechauns don't exist, but leprechaun says that leprechauns do. You know, leprechauns don't exist and hits him. Um. Then leprechaun gets a bookshelf falling on him. And they get up from the fire escape, and there's some iron bars. He grabs it, and it burns his hand. Leprechaun burns his hands because it's raw iron. So they go to this um, bar, and 
that Cody has to he has to go to the bathroom, and as, as he's in the bathroom where he thinks it's a leprechaun, the leprechaun is there, but it's actually another another little guy, dressed as a, dressed as a leprechaun, and actually really enough, that's the that 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 guy who plays this this other leprechaun, that's actually the guy from Bad Santa, who plays you know with you know, with Billy Bob Thornton, who actually you know, is playing one of the, the elves in the in Bad Santa, I was like. Really, this guy, that guy from Bad Santa's in this, and he's and he's he's selling like milk, milk chocolate coins. Like, yo, man, you want me gold? Here, it's real milk chocolate. And then he gets like this creepy, creepy ass looking smile. Like, I just have to laugh because it's just weird. Because oh, he, he wants he's offering you know, offering him uh, chocolate coins, you know, while he's going to the bathroom and leaving, and give him that creepy ass looking smile. Uh, jeez. This, this film is so much worse than the first film. It's not even funny. I'm laughing because it's not even funny. And this, this is so, so much worse than the first film. God. And so then the leprechaun is there, and Morty gets an idea to try to get the leprechaun drunk. But, um, you know, try to make him tell where Bridget is, but that didn't work. So he's too drunk, and uh, he goes to... um. To an espresso place to sober up, and this this one guy working there is like making fun of him and laughing at him. So we and you get yeah, I, I would say it's another lame death because it's not much. Where he sticks for sticks some forks in the guy's hands and this and then you know the express the this uh, espresso machine he makes where he gets like projects his hot steam right in the guy's face and the guy's face is all burning up and. Messed up, bleeding out, kills him. So, but then, um, so they get an idea to uh, uh, Sandy. Why, why I'm saying that? Cody and Morty, um, they get an idea to to trap the leprechaun and put it in this uh this safe of where where they know the go kart tracks are, because it's a, it's a raw iron steel a uh, raw iron uh, safe. So they plan to trap the leprechaun in that, um, and then one thing, and then this uh, leprechaun scares away this dog, goes bah, scares the dog away. Um, then he gets he gets tricked, he gets put into the safe. Um, but then then the guy Morty, st stupid idiot, where he locks uh, Cody in the closet, and this is where and this he. He um, messes up the plan because he's greedy. He gets too greedy, real greedy. Because since he's caught, he gets three wishes, and his first wish is for um, the leprechaun's gold. So he says, "Oh, where is it?" And the leprechaun says, "Oh, it's coming." And you get this silly-looking scene where, where he, where the gets the, where the guy gets the gold, his all of his gold though, but. It's in his stomach, and you see his stomach, his, his stomach expanding as the, uh, the the gold is growing inside of him. Yeah, it's a practical effect though, but it's really lame. It's and I'm thinking, okay, he's just his stomach is expanding. That's it. Yeah, usually sometimes like I said, practical effects is good in in horror films though. But if it, if if if, if the film sucks so much. Practical effects can't save the movie. So yeah, it's a, a lame looking effect where the guy's stomach expanding because the gold is in him. And and he wishes for him to get him out, but he can't because he's in the safe. So he has to do it, lets him out manually in the safe. And he tells him to get it out, get it out. And of course, when he tells him, when he tells him to get it out, of course, Leprechaun uses his, his long ass nails and just... Doc slices the guy's stomach open and takes the gold out of him. Like, okay, that's if if you if you know if, 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 if for that kind of aspect you knew you was you knew that would be that would be coming. I'm like, ah, okay, yeah, that that would that would that would be a typical thing because you know, oh, because he grew within the stomach. Of course, he's gonna get him out by just tearing his stomach open. Of course. But, uh, so that guy dies, and 
then the, the this cop that showed up earlier um sees think thinks that um Cody did it um takes him out then the the leprechaun in this go kart uh, runs this cop over and it's not much you know he hits, he hits him once but he's, he runs him over a second time but you don't see it to so just goes to the leprechaun's up close to his face as he's laughing so that's another another uh another lame death i mean the le the the deaths in this, I think, is not, I think it's pretty much well. I was I don't know which deaths and and which two movies are worse. I mean, you got the cop in the first film that was a boring foot chase, and all he did is break the guy's neck, and the the wife from the at the beginning of the movie just falls down the stairs by herself. Maybe I guess the deaths in this are boring though, but this one. The deaths in this film are boring though, but in this film it's just laughable and it's lame. So, so after that, he tracks down the leprechaun in the tree, and he's thinking it's supposed to be scary, because, oh, he's in caves, but it's not, and he gets attacked by a skeleton, and it's lame anyway as well. Oh, he gets attacked by a skeleton, that's it. It's not much. So he thinks he finds, the, he finds a Bridget, and then... A lame cat mouse to the caves, and then one point where he, th he thinks it's Bridget, but it's a leprechaun in disguise, because he has you know, he always thinks he has the gold coin because he he thinks he won, and he thinks he killed Cody because with he has this piece of wrought iron, he thinks he killed him, but the Cody he trick he tricks him, stabs him right here, and oh the reason why it didn't work, oh I forgot to mention this because. So lame, I forgot about this, because, speaking with the gold coin, um, while Cody was at the racetrack after he, Leprechaun killed the cop, he he falls to the ground, and he says, you know, you have to kill him if you want your sticky piece of gold, and he drives a go-kart, and it goes right through him. He, you know, he just, you know, he go, goes right through Cody, because he has the gold coin. And I'm thinking, how does that work? I mean, in the first film, the guy um, playing Ozzy, Mark Halton, he swallowed that gold coin. So, well, like I said, there's each film has no continuity or any continuation from each film. So, everything is, like, refreshed. So, you can throw in dumb ideas right out of the blue. Just like how, oh, because Brokar needs a bride in this. So, that's, that's out of the blue. But still, it doesn't make any sense. Like the guy, the kid, the guy Ozzy in the first one, he swallowed the gold coin, so he shouldn't have gotten hurt. But by the end of the film, the Leprechaun takes his a uh, his shoe buckle and just starts slicing up the guy. Like I said, none none of these films make any sense with all with the storylines and ideas they have. It's all dumb. It's so stupid. Like I said. No continuity. No continuity. Each film is a standalone Leprechaun film, and all no continuity, no relation with any any films at all. So it's stupid. So yeah, I forgot to mention that scene because that that made no sense whatsoever. So yeah, I forgot to mention about that with the gold coin. So anyway, back back with that, but at the ending, um, he stab he stabs the Leprechaun, but he thinks his gold coin didn't work because. He switched it out with the milk chocolate coin. It was like, like real milk chocolate genius. So that's why that part that that with the with the guy from the guy from Bad Santa, that part had to be put in there because because the milk chocolates. Otherwise, he would use it to trick the leprechaun, thinking he had the real gold coin, but he didn't because he had the milk chocolate coin. So that's why that had to be put in there. So. The, lepre the leprechaun, so they get out of there, and the leprechaun explodes. And that is, and I will give it this: it, will, it is a real good practical explosion. How the guy blows up into pieces. So that okay, that I would, pretty, I would pretty much say that's the best part of the movie. That is the best part of the movie where the leprechaun explodes. It is a pretty good. I will give it. I guess that was that was that was a pretty good effect. But like, like again, pra practical effects in this film can't save the movie because this film sucks so much and it's much worse than the first film. 
The actors in this film, the actors in this in this, in this film sucks. The cast is much even worse. The the, the 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 ideas the ideas in this film were stupid and and lame, like the whole thing they just pulled out of the air because oh in this film Leprechaun needs a bride and the whole idea with the gold coin oh since he Cody had the gold coin he can't be hurt because the go drive the go kart right through him makes no sense whatsoever and the deaths are are just laughable and lame. While the deaths in this, in the first one, were just boring. Yeah, the guy. There's one guy got his finger ripped off, and that's it. And guy, the homeless guy, got his gold tooth pulled out. This is, this is, this is the film is just so lame. I I just got I just got I just got know what to say. I mean. For some reason, why they threw it, why Clint Howard was in this, I have no idea. Um, and I don't, I don't still get who, who in the right man think this film was even was, was better than the first film, or he's the Leprechaun is meaner than Freddy. I don't know. Who, who, just give me. A, I'm just so scratching my head because, I I just have no what to say about the sequel. This sequel sucks big time. It's. Now it's like, I, I'm not like I said I was kind of on the first film when I gave my reasons I'm not repeating myself, but I hate this sequel. This one is totally totally sucked. It's much worse than the first film, and it deserves a and, this, and it deserves a zero percent Rotten Tomatoes. It does deserve a zero a zero percent Rotten Tomatoes. IMDb is much too lower. Well, I'm sorry, it much it's much too higher from the rating on IMDb for it has a, a four point three. It deserves even lower. Like and like I said, Warwick Davis. Uh, he's once again they tried to they tried they tried to make him they tried to make him look scary, or meaner than Freddy as the, this person calls it. He's not. Leprechaun is not even close to being meaner than Freddy. Now, you know, Freddy Krueger is much meaner because he's killing people and killing kids in their dreams. I don't know. I don't know who who would these these two people in the back here think it's better the first one was me and the first. I I just can't get that whatsoever. Can't, I just cannot get my head around it basically. So yeah, I don't care no more. I'm 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 I'm, I'm ending this video right now. The films the film sucks. I mean, like I said, Warwick Davis. He does look the. Yeah, once again, having him look in the part of the Leprechaun and good costume and makeup design. Does not doesn't mean he, he can't, the the character itself is not great. The humor once again sucks. The deaths are lame. Practical effects okay, decent and and. But can't say the movie. The deaths are lame. Jokes are lame. Pun, bad puns. Everything everything in this movie sucks. Besides the the one the best part of the movie where the leprechaun exploded. Everything else in this film sucks. I got no worse. The two leads are horrible. The girl, the the the, the guy who played Cody and the girl who played Bridget, they're horrible. Much worse. Generally, Jennifer Aniston and Ken Lola, they're they're the only two, still the only two likable leads in the Leprechaun franchise, without a doubt. Because I like those actors, and they're still the best leads in all the other friend, all the other human characters in the franchise. The leads. The two lead, the two leads in this film are horrible at best, and it's much even worse than the first film. And so, I just don't I have no words to say. But so, so that's it. And plus, um, and it's also eighty-five minutes. So it's yeah, it's it's a few minutes short in the first film, but it doesn't matter. The pacing in this film sucks, but. The guy who directed Idle Hands, Idle Hands is a much better movie from this director. And and this and like I said, this is the last film that that, that uh, last uh, Leprechaun film that got into theaters, and it cost two million dollars and made two million. I think it should, I think it was better to make it be a directed video film like all the other sequels. How this film got in theaters, well, because the first film made some money, and that was it. But. 
I would too. I would definitely agree with Rotten Tomatoes. I would definitely give this film zero, zero percent. But yeah, I, I've said too much now. But so hope you hope you enjoyed this uh, rant on the sequel, Leprechaun Two. And it sucks, and it's a much bigger and as much as I'm not being kind in this film. I was kind of in the first film, like I said before. This is a this is a full on rant, and I hate this. I hate the sequel and. It's much worse than the first film. So then, I hope you enjoy this one. And stay tuned for sequel number three. Or Leprechaun. It's a, it, stay tuned for Leprechaun number three, yeah. Sequel number... Well, technically it's a sequel number two, but... I don't care. So yeah, stay tuned for Leprechaun 3. But this film, Leprechaun 2... Just, you know, just, I have no words to say. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on, on my next one on Leprechaun, my rant on Leprechaun 3. Later.